Second letter, 510. For it is necessary for all of us to appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body. How precious, right? Things done in the body. It is to say that you are in a body, but you're not the body. Well, things done in the body, whether they were good or bad. The natural mind, when it reads this, imagines that the throne is far from here. Number two, they think that it's in the celestial places. And number three, that all the things you've done that day will be brought to light. The natural mind. But Paul says that, that you have to accommodate the spiritual to the spiritual. So then with the spiritual, you're not going to see a tribunal. You're going to see this pulpit. Yes, because here is where the things that are good or bad are tested. How many things have you misinterpreted that since you have arrived here, you say, that was wrong. And where did you learn it? In the tribunal of Christ. And if I tell you that there is a throne of grace, what would you say? The throne of grace. John set the throne with the elders and he saw 24 elders. Listen, that angel that was sent to John for not submitting to Paul, he never submitted to Paul. He thought he was better than Paul. So then the angel that manifests himself to John confused him, giving him visions. That's what the book of Apocalypse is, a book of visions, not of revelation. The revelation was already written in 14 epistles. So then we must understand how to accommodate the spiritual to a, the spiritual. So what is the throne of grace? The same thing as the tribunal of Christ, right? What is it to be sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit? As soon as you think of a seal like this or like this, Well, the zeal of the promised Holy Spirit is the same as to be enlightened with the word of grace. It is to say, Paul, all the revelation in it, it's repeated in different ways. But it's the same to be enlightened. When Isaiah said, those who walk on the way will not go astray because that path will be called the holy way. What was that? Save or was save. If you have two fingers in front of you and you begin to think properly, for as brutal as they are, they will not go astray. Well, what he was talking about was the holiness that was imputed to you freely. What was he talking about? Let's look at it in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, because Paul used as a reference Isaiah. Isaiah wrote, but he didn't understand. And I have news for you. Paul wrote, and he didn't understand either. What Paul did was to lay it down as foundation so I couldn't explain it, because imagine what was I going to be left with? If he would have explained it, what would I have to come to earth for if it had already been told?